All right, everyone, the day has finally arrived. I've got not one, not two, but three packages to open, and these hold the key to the next step in my custom G1000 flight sim project. So let's dive in and see what we've got. First up, we have the solder stencils. These are absolutely essential for getting those components perfectly aligned and soldered. If you've ever worked with surface mount components and stencils before, you know how much easier these make life. Looks like I've got stencils for both the front and back of each PCB, but wait. Oh no, I just realized I only ordered one stencil with a frame. Whoops, rookie mistake. Um, I really like having the frames on the stencils, but it does make them pretty bulky. I may just end up cutting them down so they'll be easier to manage anyway. But seriously, look at these. these they're so nice and shiny and clean. These are going to make applying solder paste so much faster and cleaner. Now for the main event, the PCBs. These beauties were just fabricated by JLC PCB and they look awesome. They're wrapped up in bubble wrap for that extra layer of protection, which is always nice. I appreciate that. Let's pull them out and take a closer look. These are the PCBs I showed you in my schematic walkthrough video. They include all the fixes and tweaks I made to ensure everything fits perfectly and functions as intended. From the layout to the silk screen, everything here looks exactly how I envisioned it. Can't wait to test these out. And here's the part that blows my mind. From the day I uploaded these files to JLC PCB's website to having them delivered to my doorstep here in the US, it took just seven days. That's right, seven days. That's an amazing turnaround time, especially considering that these were made in China. So huge shout out to JLC PCB for making this process so fast and seamless and inexpensive as possible. Now, a little confession. While these were in production, I forgot to order the components. So while I've got the stencils and PCBs ready to go, I'm still waiting on the parts to arrive. They should be here in a few days though, and then it'll be full steam ahead on assembly. And now for something I've been incredibly excited about, unboxing my brand new Bamboo Lab printer. Christmas came earlier this year. I actually got this back in summer, but I took some time lapse to show you how this beauty came together. It's like Christmas morning opening up this box. The packaging here is top notch and they've done an awesome job ensuring everything arrives in perfect condition. From the sleek design to the ease of setup, I'm already impressed. There's an insane amount of engineering that went into making this printer so good. I've heard that the founding engineers used to work on drones for DJI, and you can tell. Bamboo Lab is like the DJI of 3D printing. As a bloke who's trying to make his own avionics, having a printer that takes care of calibration and fine tuning means that I can focus more on designing and printing and less on troubleshooting. I'm looking at you, Creality. This is going to be a game changer for prototyping, especially for my flight sim projects. I'll show more on the printed G1000 parts in later videos, but just thought I'd show it here since I was already kind of in an unboxing sort of mood. This printer isn't just about looks though, it's packed with some seriously smart technology. One of the coolest features is its self-calibration process. The printer intelligently finds all of its resonant frequencies and adjusts the motors for optimized performance and the quietest operation possible. It's a pretty cool thing to watch. This is all part of my journey to build a custom G1000 avionics suite for my flight simulator. If you've been following the series, you know we've come a long way from schematic design to fabrication and now to unboxing the results. Next up will be assembly and testing, so stay tuned for that. If you're enjoying this behind the scenes look at the project, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to check out the earlier videos in the series if you're just joining us. I'd love to hear your thoughts or questions, so drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.